Hey, Katrina here from Scrappy Horses. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to share with you my second entry into my art journaling, my favorite music. And this time, I'm sharing a great song by Dan Fogelberg. If you missed my first entry, I will link that below. And in your spare time, you can stop on over by my channel and check that one out. Let's get started with today's entry. And that involved a little bit of Cricut Design Space prep work. Here I'm showing the pieces that I've cut and the background paper that I created. If you are interested in learning how to create some background paper in Cricut Design Space, hey, I got a great video for you. We'll link that video in the box below. You'll wanna check it out. It's got some great information in it. All right, moving on, or shall I say back, these are the pages that I did create in Design Space and a couple more cuts of the corn to add to my pages. I figured we needed some corn in there since it's about a scarecrow. All right, here are some embellishments I decided to go with, or I thought I might decide to go with. I couldn't decide if I wanted to use pearls or little rhinestones, and these Copics are in here in case I want to color up some gems. All right, I'm coming in with some pearl blick white paint, and it has sort of a sheen to it, and I'm adding to it some ink just from my stamp pad close to my heart. Um, I believe the color is sapphire. I like to do it this way because I can mix up whatever color I like and also cuts down on storage issues for me. I don't have to store a bunch of different colors of paint. I can just mix up what I want and just enough to use. I'm gonna go ahead and dip my brush in and just add a few little texture places around the edges. You'll notice the um, the clear plastic wrap in there. It's not plastic wrap, it's actually cereal. It's from cereal boxes. Um, I just wash them up and use them between my pages and they clean up nicely and reusable that way. I'm just inking little pieces of my cuts that I did in Cricut. And just what I'm doing with the little corn stalks there is I actually have a fairly new sponge. So when I put it down onto the corn stalks, it just made little dots all over it. You can see right there what I'm talking about and it just gives it texture. This piece actually lies behind the green. So I'm just coloring in the little corn, the little pieces of corn there that are growing out of there with my Copic marker. Now, when I cut this on my Cricut, those ends frayed a little bit. So I'm just gonna cut them away because they're gonna go behind the green anyway. So it's not really a, a big deal. And then I also don't have to worry about matching it up. I'm gonna use my Zig two-way pen here and just go ahead and put these corn stalks together. And then I'm gonna bind them up with some gold thread. Not like we'd really see that out in the cornfield, <laughs> But I thought for my project, it would really work and add a little bit of shimmer. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about this piece of music while I'm um, binding my thread and such. This piece is from the album Netherlands, and it, it was released in 1977. This album is incredible. I've always been a Fogelberg fan. I, I just think he's a great lyricist, a great composer, just a great musician. I've always enjoyed his music. And I really enjoy the stories that he tells through music. His words are phenomenal. Um, but this is a very new album for me. I had not heard this before and I ran across it and when I heard this Scarecrow's Dream, I could not get this image out of my mind. And so I went looking through all of my images in my stash on the computer, and I have a, quite a few. I thought, yes, this little Scarecrow girl is so cute, and she will be so perfect on this page with these lyrics. So 
that's how this particular layout came to be. I wanted the corn in there, so I went ahead and again made that in Cricut Design Space. Check out that video. You'll see how I basically did that. All right, back to what you're seeing on the screen. I saw these sunflowers and I liked them, but I wanted some color. So again, I just grabbed my Copic and brought in that same color that I used for the corn. And I'm using that on this lace that I will edge out the page. So it is time now to put some double-sided tape and glue and adhere this into my book. Now you'll see I got a nice big sloppy glue splotch there. So I had to wipe that away. I tend to do a lot of cleaning and I usually do not include that in my videos. I usually cut it out. So I thought, well, I'll leave it so you guys can see just how messy I really am. All right, so we're adding the little corn stalks. I want one behind and one in front. And that sort of comes in and covers up those bare spots. I roughed up the edge there on this piece. I did that by uh, laying it down on my glass plate and just rubbing scissors, dull scissors on it. And it really scruffed it up, made it look really, really distressed. I wish I had recorded it, but I didn't. I, my camera clicked off, I apologize. And adding this, my lyrics, to the left-hand side of the layout, I did not choose the lyrics I loved the most from this song. I chose the lyrics that I felt I had an idea for. So you may see more lyrics from this song later in another layout. Be prepared because I just, I love the song and uh, there are other lyrics in there that I just need to think about and see what comes to my mind. See where my brain takes me. Okay, so we're gluing her into place and we're just about finished here. We just have a few little gems to add. And I decided to go with these retired gems from close to my heart. They're in shades of blue and teal. And then on the other side, I went with some little blue, um, like crystally like gems that I had in my stash from my daughter's wedding years ago. Now they're not pre-glued or anything. Um, they have no sticky on them. So I had to use a little bit of glue here and I stuck those in place. So what do you think the Scarecrow's dreams are? Interesting concept, yes? All right, that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I've inspired you to choose a song that you enjoy or lyrics that you find interesting and add something to your art journal. Or maybe for you, it will inspire a card for a friend or a wall hanging. Let me know what you think of this in the box below. And I will leave for you all the information you need, including a link to this album that I know you're going to love. All right. Have a great week and I'll catch up with you in the next video. Bye.